Do you want to learn how to make your TikTok edit in just 10 minutes on Premiere Pro? Well then, all you need to do is follow these six steps, starting with Twixter Clips. Head on to YouTube and just type the name of your character and put Twixter at the end. Twixted or time remapped clips are basically slow mode clips, meaning you don't have to go through the process of editing them yourself. All you need to do is just download this. Sometimes the uploader might leave a link in the description, but otherwise you might have to just convert it to MP4. Next, you want to have sequence presets ready so you don't have to change these settings every time. So first of all, we're going to create a new one so head over to file, new, and then create a new sequence. Select any for now. I'm just going to go for Ari 10 to be 30 and click OK. Then what we're going to do is just make sure that your sequence has been selected and head over to sequence at the top, sequence settings, copy my settings. So first of all, change the editing mode to custom, the time base to 60 frames per second or 30 if you prefer. Most TikTok style edits go 60, so we're going to do that and change the frame size to 1080 by 1440. This will leave you with a three by four aspect ratio, which looks like this. But if you were to go for 1080 by 1920, this will change it to nine by 16, which usually fits a phone screen. You can create presets for both but for this example i'm going to go 1080 by 1440 click ok and over here what you want to do is just right click the name of your sequence so just right click here and head over down here to create preset from sequence and give it a name usually what i do is i name it main and then put in the name of it so three by four 1080p 60 fps if you already know it's 1080 60 there's no points keeping it so just keep it at 3x4 add a description if you like and click ok oh and it seems like i actually can't include these characters so i'm just going to click ok and retry that so create preset main three by four like that and now let's say i want to create a new sequence for a brand new edit so new sequence all i need to do is scroll down to custom this one down here and open it up my sequence is now ready as a preset and i don't have to change these settings each time it's that simple now i'm sorry i should have mentioned this at the start but this video is basically a huge promo for my channel because stage three is about transition presets so we're talking about smooth zooms shakes and anything in between so what i want you to do is watch these tutorials and then follow this guide that way you'll be able to make TikTok edits in no time. The links for these are in the description below. Now, the key word that we're looking for here is preset. If you turn your effects into transitions and then into presets, you don't have to keep on making them over and over. And I'll show you how to. So let's say you've made a zoom transition. You would want it sorted into a zoom transitions folder. So head over to effects and right click this presets folder. So right click and click on new presets bin. Then you want to open it up. So I'm just going to click on the arrow and scroll down. You can see it's made one right here. Give it a name. So just click. I'm just going to name it as example folder and click enter. I'm going to grab a zoom transition from my TikTok editing pack, which contains 50 presets from colorings to shakes to blur transitions and even more, even text effects. For now, I've added the zoom out onto an adjustment layer. You can add it onto a clip directly, but adjustment layer I think works better. So all I did was I went into my project panel, right click new item, adjust layer, click OK and just place it on top of my clip and extend it to match the duration. And this is what it looks like with some adjustments so as you can see it's very smooth now obviously if i wanted to add this onto my other clips i would just duplicate it so hold alt on your keyboard and click and drag the adjustment layer above the other clips like so simple now they all have zoom out transitions however what if i wanted to use it on a future edit well i would want to save this as a preset so first of all i'm going to head back into effects and just cancel this out and find the folder that i just made which is this example folder i'm going to open it up and what i'm going to do actually is right click once again and click on new preset bin so that's going to create a subfolder i'm going to name it zoom transitions and while this has been highlighted i'm going to head back into effects controls right click on my zoom out click on save preset give it a name and as for the type i've noticed that scale is a popular option but i think anchor to in point works better the scale option stretches your keyframes out depending on the layer so it could be a clip or adjustment layer so this can mess things up while anchor to in point shifts all of the keyframe to the start of the layer while the out points puts them towards the end just to give you a visual demonstration what scale will do is for example this looks pretty good by selecting scale it's going to stretch it out to match the clip duration 
and as you can see it breaks it meaning you would have to adjust it from both sides and it can get a bit tricky but if you use anchor in what it's going to do is keep them at the start while anchor out will push them to the end like this until the last keyframe touches the end so it really does depend on the preset itself in this case anchor to in points would make most sense and so i'm going to click ok now if i head back into effects and open up the zoom transitions folder you can see it's right there this applies to anything as well so for example i could put some text i could put example at the moment you can see it looks pretty bland but if you follow my deep glow text tutorial you can make it look amazing i'm just going to use a preset from my editing pack so i've got blue green purple red and yellow it's easy as drag and drop there you go i'm also going to turn down the scale just so you know it looks a little bit better if you're not a fan of yellow go red if you don't like red go purple maybe green if that's your thing but anyways yeah save these as presets just like before but highlighting every effect starting from the bottom making our way up so i'm just going to highlight this one by holding shift and left click and then click the one at the very top with the tint i'm going to right click save preset but wait i can't save it yet because there is no text folder so let me just find it again just like how we made a folder for zoom transitions make one for text so new presets and name it text effects maybe make sure it's been highlighted and then right click save save it oh and also this time the type does not matter and the last one for the effects is coloring which i also did make a tutorial on there are a few options from high to low to medium to sharpen only so let's go for maybe high i'm going to drag it onto let's go adjustment layer there you go if you don't like how it looks and you just want it to look sharper that's fine you can go for sharpen only and it's going to look sharper i'm going to finish this off by adding on my shakes as well so let's go smooth y shake onto this adjustment layer this looks really good however i also want it in reverse so i'm going to add the reverse one onto the same adjustment layer so now i've got a shake at the beginning and at the end of the clip now let's go for maybe a x shake instead for the second clip and also a reverse to finish it off let's see how that looks awesome not bad at all oh and by the way i just added some text wiggle as you can see which is also a preset so fast normal and slow but now we need to export this part will save you quite a bit of time so head over to the export panel up here if you don't see this press ctrl m on your keyboard and it will show in case you weren't aware you can actually save your export settings as a preset and these are what i recommend for a tiktok edit so first of all keep the frame size and frame rate as it is same goes for these two options down here but what you want to do is check the use maximum render quality then scroll down until you see profile and change it from main to high scroll down even further and change the bitrate encoding to vbr one pass now the target bitrate depends on your edit so if there is more movement then you want to have a higher value compared to those with less movement so i would recommend a minimum of 18 and no higher than 26 because tiktok is going to compress it either way to play it safe i would recommend maybe 20 or 22 which leaves a nice balance now i think that's everything oh and also the format make sure that is h264 double check to see if your settings match mine and you want to head over to these three dots next to presets click on save presets and give it a name i'm just going to name it tiktok edit export settings and click ok so now every time you need to export with these settings just select the preset it's really that simple members thank you very much for your support as always and you also get 50 percent off my tiktok editing pack no discount code required it's automatically applied at the checkout thank you for watching and i'll see you next time. Peace.